What's up, people? This is how to buy Bitcoin for beginners. Um, basically, it's, there's a lot of information out there. I'm just going to simplify it for you. What you're going to need is a computer, a smartphone, a credit card, driver's license or ID, valid, up to date, time and patience. So, this is my purchase history on Coinbase, which is one of the best places that you can get Bitcoin with US dollars. So I'm just going to quickly uh, add up my all my uh, purchases. I, I used a credit card and there's a spend limit. Um, so you can get roughly a little over 100 each time uh, per week. And that's what I did for a few weeks. And there's uh, starting August 14th uh, to uh, on screen is the 31st, but then up till September 5th. And within that time, I... Uh, did all my purchasing and with the final purchase it came to four fifty three twenty three is my total investment okay part of the my investment I moved into my exodus wallet which is a wallet that goes on your desktop we'll be getting into that shortly and uh, I'm gonna add the coins that are in there the values in there is one thousand two hundred nineteen ninety four at present and then the rest of my investment is in bitrex.com in the wallet there and so I'm going to add that investment and that is the uh, verge coin and that coin is not held in the exodus wallet so currently I have it on bitrex so added uh, that total which is like two thousand something and it came to thirty four ninety eleven is uh, basically where I'm sitting at when I started with 40 uh, 453 it puts me at about 7.7 .7 times my investment in three months so there are many many uh, cryptocurrencies uh, here they are listed on coinmarketcap.com I'm gonna have links in the description for all these different websites um, you can see that Bitcoin is currently uh, up near 18,000 and these prices are very volatile they go up and down rapidly and uh, there are small fee for transactions so I don't believe in trading uh, up and down and trying to I just buy and I hold on to it and then they call that hodl but um, basically this is not financial advice this is just um, sharing what I do again this is not financial advice so some of the coins I like were Bitcoin, Litecoin, and this one right here, Verge. Uh, Verge is like a penny stock because uh, I got into it when it was a tenth of a cent or a, a fraction of a cent. And uh, recently has gone up to uh, about five cents or so is where it's stabilized. So that one's multiplied a lot for me. I think I had 160 or so in there and it's up to over 2,000. So it's doing really well. Um, basically... If you can get into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies right now, you are a trendsetter. You are one of the early adopters, okay? Because there's going to be a mass adoption and this thing's going to explode and it's bound to go off the charts. It's just now coming into public consciousness. So look at Litecoin here. We put it on a, a one year. You can see that it's uh, how the price has exploded. Uh, from over here, it was... Uh, you know, roughly seventy dollars up to up to um, near three hundred range, right? In just uh, one year. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the uh, the verge. When you click on that, well, first we show you the prices. Uh, you know, currently of five cents. So you know, you can buy a lot of those, and if it goes up, you can really make an invest. You can really make a profit. So um, put that on the uh, the last month, I believe. And you can see, might be three months there. It's so, so small on my preview. Um, so you can see that the price has just exploded. And even though, but still only five cents or so a coin, but you can have a lot of them and get a lot. All right, so <clears throat> that's a great investment opportunity. Unlike uh, once in a lifetime, this is like the internet boom of the 90s. This is the cryptocurrency boom. There's a lot to it, but we're just going to go with simply just getting some Bitcoin and holding on to it and watching it grow. So you're going to want to go to Coinbase, and I will leave a link in the description, 
and basically it'll be a, a link where if you go through my link we each get credited an extra ten dollars uh, if you spend a hundred so if you go to coinbase and get set up and go through my link and get um, verified you can see here um, then they're gonna give you an extra ten dollars and they're gonna give me an extra ten dollars so just up front about that I mean who doesn't want an extra ten bucks if you go through my link if you go on your own you know you invest a hundred you just get a hundred go on go through my link 110 all right or 100 or more whatever all right so they're going to get you the that's coinbase and we're going to have links for that that's where you're going to originally uh sign up with your email provide them your uh cell phone all your real information this is a trading uh site um you can give your bank account but i don't like that because um it says four to five days, but I know people have said like waited over a month to get their Bitcoin. It's locked in at the price you bought it, but it, it's uh, you know you don't want to wait for it. You want it right away so you can get it and trade it or whatever, or just just have it, you know. So there are small fees in, with the credit card, but here you go. You go through this process of adding an ID if you want to add a form of payment, add a credit card. My credit card expired, so I have to re-add, and I'm having trouble because so many people are now signing up to Coinbase. So it might take you several attempts, uh, might take a couple days, might take, you know, I don't know, it just depends. But you just, you're you going to see this screen, it's going to be very familiar. We're trying to verify your ID. Coinbase has uh, been updating this, they've been having some issues, but they're getting people through. If you eventually get signed up, and then you want to get your Bitcoin, you're going to have the choice to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Now Litecoin's great, but Bitcoin is the only one you can buy other small coins with, right? So I definitely recommend Litecoin has got a lot of room to grow and has just grown rapidly. But if you're going to buy some Bitcoin, get it here and you, you have your bank account and you, you probably have a weekly limit, a little over a hundred bucks as a, as a new person that just gave a credit card and didn't go through all the steps of verific like uh, enhanced verification or whatever they call it. So you just go through here, you set up your amounts, and you click buy, and then you wait, and uh, after a few minutes, it takes a little while for it to go through, it'll come through, and it'll be in your wallet in here. Now, in here, you set up uh, two-step verification. You go through that and set it up where it sent it to your phone, so anytime you log on, you get a code on your phone, and then you have to put that code in to log in, so that, that way, it's safer, right? The only way to uh, be safer is if you wanted to send it to a wallet. And this is where you would do that. You go to this uh, tab right here for uh, accounts, and uh, you would click on uh, send and buy. I don't have any, so I clicked on receive, like if I wanted to receive some. So this key right here is a public key, and it doesn't matter if anybody sees this key. The worst they can really do is send me some Bitcoin. So there is a private key, but you don't share that one, and it doesn't show up here, and you don't need to worry about that right now. This is only going to show you your public keys this is the wallet you want to get this wallet comes highly recommended a lot of people like it again this is not financial advice this is the wallet that I use and I really like it you can you can get it for Windows Mac or Linux okay let me just have some screenshots of it and I'll go through those for you uh, just kind of show you a little bit about it so it kind of shows like in this pie chart your portfolio and sections of uh, what percentage you have and then what it equals it to uh, in US dollars and this is live so it will change it will show you like exactly what your value is right there when you open the wallet so that's really nice about the Exodus wallet it holds all these different big these different cryptocurrencies but they're adding coins all the time and they just don't hold one of my favorite coins which is the verge coin so that one I have in the second spot but everything else I keep in here so if you go to exchange, you can directly exchange your coins for other types of coins that they do in the wallet here. Um, and that's really easy and convenient. And they're going to give you the, you know, the same kind of fee and uh, just a lot simpler choice to do if you want to do it that way. Now, if you want to send it to someone, you could do send right here. You click on the type of coin you want. And it's very important you're on the right kind of coin because um, if you send... Like if you send the one kind of coin to another kind of coin's address, it gets lost forever. But if you, you know, you so you send Bitcoin address, you can send it to a Bitcoin address. You send Litecoin, you send to a Litecoin address. All right. So here they have, you know, U.S. dollars, the founders, 
So, <clears throat> all right, more of the exchange. This is just how you can kind of exchange it. And then, you know, you do that, and it takes some, takes a few minutes or whatever. With them. they have all different coins, and you can do all that there. Again, you want to make sure you're on the right coin that you're sending, and they all have their own unique names. But they, you can't send Bitcoin to Litecoin, you'll lose it. Like you just said, Bitcoin has to be sent to Bitcoin, and Litecoin has to be sent to Litecoin. Verge has to be sent to Verge. Like, so you're gonna, have, you're gonna get a 12-word backup phrase when you set up your Exodus wallet. Okay, when you set up, uh, that is like if your computer got stolen, your hard drive crash, or anything, that you can just download Exodus anywhere else and then put that 12 word phrase in to recover your wallet. So it's very important. You don't want to have a screenshot of that or anything. You want to put that on paper uh, and put it into like a safety deposit box or a uh, safe or something. I'm actually going to be stamping mine on the metal and having it a uh, safety deposit box. So this is the, uh, the Exodus wallet right here and uh, you put your password in Wait for it to load. Okay, I'm gonna center this. All right, so there's mine, and uh, yeah, so that's what you can see. So if uh, you know, I want to send uh, send some Bitcoin or receive some Bitcoin. I'd love to receive some Bitcoin, so that'd be my wallet. And right here, I can click to uh, to copy it. So like, if I was sending it from Coinbase to my wallet, I would go from my wallet here in Exodus and hit receive, copy that go back to Coinbase and then hit the send on Coinbase and put that address in. Now the address that you that you have is a very long complex address. You want to you want to check the first 5 numbers and letters and the last 5 numbers and letters at the very least when you copy and paste it double triple check that because it's very important you want to make sure you get in the right area. Guys, I'm so glad you're interested in this and getting started. I'm going to have links in the description for all the websites and also uh, for my keys for Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum. So you can send, if you like, uh, want to donate, you can send that to me. I do appreciate it. Links are all in the description below. You guys have a great day. Come ride the Bitcoin wave, not financial advice. Have a good night. Whatever, 33, out.